Tracy Jackson, also known as a spiritual cheerleader, coming to you with your card of the week for this week. And actually, um, we're in for a treat because it's cards of the week. Um, I have been trying to pull from this deck for a couple of weeks now. Um, finally, Spirit guided me to work your light oracle. Um, and I, um, when I pulled the cards today, when I was shuffling, one of the cards just jumped out at me. And uh, through Oracle School, typically, you know, what falls to the floor comes to the door um, is, is something that we say, but it's usually um, extra. It informs what our, our card pull is. And so by virtue of that, we ended up getting two cards this week. Um, the cards go together so perfectly and I can't wait to share them with you. Um, the first card that we pulled was Keepers of the Earth. So you can see that. Um, it says, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Um, and the artwork on this is really, really beautiful. Um, Danielle Noel is the artist for this. She has her own star child tarot and moon child tarot as well um, that kind of keeps into the same color scheme, um, but with different artwork. Um, this card is really talking to us about um, our role on this earth and kind of congratulating us and celebrating us for taking on the role of um, becoming someone who so embodies and cares about the people of this earth and the earth itself and, and really wants to make a change, um, a, a huge change that is felt amongst all parties. And the fact that in order to do that, um, we are getting support on a spiritual level um, from our ancestors, from our our angels, our um, our guides, our you know ascended masters. Everyone is out there on the spiritual plane giving us support, and this card heralds the fact that they are going to then start helping us to gain the physical support in the physical realm as well. So basically they're, they're congratulating us and they're saying great, good job for you stepping out there. We're so excited for you. And now we're gonna help you um, by making things happen on the earthly plane. Um, we're going to start helping you um, gain that support that you need in the earthly realm, right? And uh, it's, it's really incumbent upon us uh, as uh, the keepers of the earth, uh, you know, as we see and feel our ancestors stepping up for us to really have that, um, that sense of gratitude and express that sense of gratitude, knowing what is coming for us, trusting that that support is coming uh, for us this week. Um, the, the second card, which really um, goes with it, is the star mother card. And it says, how can you mother yourself? And um, like I said, both of these cards go together really, really well. The Keepers of the Earth card really talks about support and, and getting that support from ancestors, getting that support on the physical plane. But the Star Mother card really speaks of supporting ourselves, really speaks to how we can... Um, take care of ourselves, um, give ourselves that love we need that maybe we're not getting um, or feel like we're not getting from outside. And so by virtue of us getting both of these cards, it's really telling us that this is the time of being supported. This is our time of being, you know, really taken care of and nurtured as a mother would nurture us. Nurture us. And when we feel like, um, we maybe are not getting that support or that we're overburdened or overwhelmed, it's time to go to um, the mother with those burdens, with those um, cares, and to hand them over, to literally surrender them so that you can continue to do the work that you were meant to do on this earth. Um, I know, uh, you know, many times, 
on this on this journey, we can get really, really overwhelmed and feel like maybe we want to even give up um, uh, because we feel like things aren't moving as quickly as we thought they would or that we're not seeing the traction that we thought we would see. Um, we're not feeling supported in the way that we felt we would be supported. And so we want to throw in the towel. And the two cards together are literally telling us that we're going to be supported across the board, but we have to learn how to support ourselves too. And doing that, uh, being able to support ourselves includes being able to surrender those burdens and those cares and give them over to the mother um, so that that she can she can uh, work more more clearly in in our lives that she can really use us um, and allow we can allow ourselves to be used by source um, to be that vessel to be the keeper of the earth that we were always meant to be so i hope that that guidance resonates with you for the week i hope that um like me, you were really excited to finally get <laughs> get messages from the Work Your Light Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. And um, I will speak to you guys next week. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.